Gospel according to Saint Matthew chapter 25 verses 14 to 30 Jesus told his disciples this parable A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them to one he gave 5 talents to another 2 to a third 1 to each according to his ability then he went away immediately the one who received 5 talents went and traded with them and made another 5 likewise the one who received 2 made another 2 but the man who received 1 went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money after a long time the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them the one who had received 5 talents came forward bringing the additional 5 He said, "Master, you gave me 5 talents. See, I have made 5 more." His master said to him, "Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come share your master's joy." Then the one who had received 2 talents also came forward and said, "Master, you gave me 2 talents. See, I have made 2 more." His master said to him, "Well done." My good and faithful servant since you were faithful in small matters i will give you great responsibilities come share in your master's joy then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said master i knew you were a demanding person harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter so out of fear i went off and buried your talent in the ground here it is back His master said to him in reply, "You wicked, lazy servant! So you knew that I harvest where I did not plant, and gather where I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank, so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to every one who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich." but from the one who has not even what he has will be taken away and throw this useless servant into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth dear friends this parable speaks to us of god and how god treats us we have all been given gifts and talents by god the important thing is not what i have been given but how i use what i have been given god calls us god loves and as we see in this gospel god also trusts us our talents are not just for ourselves they are meant to be used to proclaim the gospel and build the kingdom of god just think of the trust god has in each of us and the risk he takes with us we are now living in a time when we are waiting for the lord to return the parable teaches us uh, each of us what to do during this time of waiting we can't simply sit wait and do nothing Our waiting is not to be ideal or passive. We are to live our daily lives in such a way that we use all the many gifts and talents God has given each of us. In the gospel, the man not only gave his servants money, he also trusted them with a big responsibility. Jesus has given each of us the same responsibility through our ordinary lives and through the use of our gifts skills and talents we are to show that we too are faithful servants